Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? This is Tweak here and today I'm going to be letting you guys know some of the barter trades uh, that may go overlooked by a lot of players. I know after having spent the last, I, I don't know how long, it was quite a while I spent looking through all the stuff to uh, look at all the barter trades and uh, there's actually some really worth stuff here. I actually found a few that actually made me money. Um, so I'm about to leak some of that, so you can blame me now for ruining your money-making method, as seems to be the case every time I make one of these types of videos. Um, we're gonna get started with some of the, uh, the super easy stuff, the quick stuff. So, I've got my list here, so you're looking at Purpore level 1. Uh, two horse statues can get you an AKU, so this is really nice for early game. If you're a new player, you find horse statues, keep them with you, trade them into Purpore, get yourself a nice little AKU, easy clap. Moving on to the next one, the 3 Tushanka trade will get you an AKM, which is, again, pretty nice for the early game. So if you want to net yourself an AKM, grab 3 Tushankas. Now, one thing to mention, always check the prices of the Tushanka and all of the barter items before you actually do these trades and make sure you're not undercutting yourself instead of just selling them on the flea market um, to where you can maybe buy the gun for cheap with the money that you use uh, to sell uh, your Tushankas with or whatever. Um, next one, five T-shaped plugs for PP19s, and two spark plugs will grab you a PSO scope as well. Now, what's great about this? What map do you play early game in Tarkov? You play a lot of customs. What is there a ton of on customs? Filing cabinets. And this is the next point I'm going to get onto here now, uh, for therapists specifically. But with the horse statues, the T-shaped plugs, and the spark plugs, all of these can all be gotten from filing cabinets. Now, therapist. Two batches gets you a painkiller. What do you need a lot of early game? Painkillers. Yeah. Two tape. Car med kit. Just the regular, just the regular like uh, white tape gets you a car med kit. Two of them. And then one paid spray gets you a uh, Salawa. So what do you loot a lot of early game in Tarkov? You loot a lot of duffel bags. You loot a lot of filing cabinets. And you're going to find an awful lot of this stuff. Uh, all very, very useful. So next time you're, you know, early game Tarkov, or if you're currently early game right now watching this video... Make sure, you know, you grab this stuff and utilize the barter trades. It's going to save you a lot of money over time. Now, moving on to skier level one. Two horse statues can net you a 136 Vepper. If you would rather have a tappy tappy gun, I would act honestly rather have a 136 Vepper than a uh, AKU myself. So if you would rather, you can grab yourself a Vepper for your two horse statues. Um, and the next trade as well, one wreck battery will get you an ADAR. So you'll find wreck batteries in filing cabinets all the time. Um... They're pretty common. You can find them all over scavs when you're doing your early game stuff. So it's a great trade. Wreck battery. Nets you an ADAR. What's not to like? Moving on to Peacekeeper level 1. We've got one hard drive. We'll get you an MBSS. Hard drives are everywhere. If you're playing Interchange, check the computers. Grab yourself some hard drives. You have now stocked your bags or stocked uh, your, your bag supply for the next five or six raids. Grab a couple of hard drives. Uh, and then, of course, eight brown handled scav knives will get you an MP5. I feel, I feel like most people know about that one, but that's one of the better trades for the early game. It's one I always use early game, the uh, eight scav knife trade. And then moving on to mechanic level one. Now, this one's subjective. I, it's up to you. Uh, a Rolex for a fully decked out PP19. It's up to you. Um, it's probably worth about the price of the Rolex. Uh, it might be a little bit less worth than the Rolex. I don't know. Um, but it is a fully decked out, pretty nice PP-19. It's a fun gun to run. So if you find some rollers early game, you can trade them in mechanic, get a gun with a sight, a suppressor. It's pretty nice. Uh, and it's a fun gun to run. So that's why I left that one in there. Um, I'll tell you about the other trades at later levels, uh, in a few minutes once we get to that. Uh, Ragman level one, obviously three, ma uh, face masks for a pack of armor. This is, again, so super vital for early game that you have armor a great way to make sure that you have armor every time you kill some scavs grab their face masks uh this will end up saving your ass and it costs next to nothing to grab face masks you could even check the flea market to make sure they're or, or to check and see if they're lower priced than uh someone who's actually selling a pack of armor and you can buy them and barter for them that way and then uh again at ragman level one we have two level one dog tags for an mbss again here there's no point in selling level one dog tags you might as well just trade them for an MBSS and then sell it on the flea market, or you can use it yourself. And now Jaeger level one, uh, two bolts will grab you an EKP. Now early game bolts are expensive because of the hideout. Uh, so again, make sure you check the prices. It doesn't matter like 
the date this video was uploaded, a week after it's uploaded, a month after it's uploaded, a lot of these item prices might change. So you want to double check these before you do it. I'm just trying to let you know the decent trades that I grabbed out of all the barter trades after going through all the traders. Um, so yeah, two bolts for an EKP, which is a nice little sight. And two matches for a dovetail mount for an SKS. So if you have a couple of uh, dovetail, um, or what do you call them, uh, OPSKSs laying around, you can use matches to get dovetail mounts for cheap because they do uh, cost a lot of money on the flea market uh, early game. Now, moving on to our level 2 barter trades. Let me throw this on a loop. So, getting a little bit more spicy now. For poor level 2, we can get two hard drives. Uh, or if we bring him two hard drives, we can get a 60 round AK mag after you have ice cream cones completed. Even at this point in the game, uh, collecting hard drives and trading 60 round, uh, trading for 60 round AK mags will actually save you a lot of money in the long haul. So that is definitely worth. Um, you can also get a suppressed AKU for one cat statue. So if you like running suppressed AKUs or you want to get head start in your modding, you just buy it with a suppressor. You can trade a cat statue for it. Uh, I think you actually make profit off that cat statue trade as far as I know. Um, and also you can get an AK-74N for five of those useless Apollo cigarettes that you hate finding when you're looking for your Wilston cigarettes. Collect the Apollos. You can trade five of them for a 74N. Super easy to find as well. They're everywhere, especially when you're on that task where you need to find cigarettes. Now, Therapist Level 2. Most people know about this, but one uh, cat statue, one lion statue, and five horses will net you a dox case. This is super good for early game. Uh, if you don't have your marked room key yet, you haven't been doing marked room runs, you can do some shoreline and uh, maybe check some safes and get lucky and you can find all this stuff and then trade that for a dox case. Uh, a meds case then at level 2 therapist will cost you 7 blood sets, 7 syringes and 2 vaselines. This one, eh, because syringes are quite high in value right now. Uh, blood sets aren't too expensive, vaselines aren't too expensive. But I th I'm not sure if you make profit on this right now. I don't think you do. But I think early game, um, I think early game you can make this trade work. But right now, I don't think it's super worth. So again, double check the prices on the flea. Uh, before you do any of these trades to see if you can make or lose money. Uh, skier level 2. A rotor 9x19 suppressor for 6 D-Bats. If you like running 9x19 guns uh, and you like using that suppressor, grab the D-Batteries and trade them. The D-Batteries actually trade for uh, the gunsmith handguard as well for the shotgun. So I would probably suggest just selling the D-Batteries and set on the flea market, especially early game, you'll make a lot more money. But if that's something you really, 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 really wanted, you have a bunch of D-Batteries lying around, then sure, go for it. Uh, probably wouldn't recommend it, though. Uh, moving on to Peacekeeper, level 2. We have an MPX for 7 level 8 dog tags. Um, you about break even on this. I think level 8 dog tags are worth like 4k? 4k or so so you're looking at seven of them uh 4k what's that 30 uh or sorry 28k dear god if my maths is wrong on this i'm pretty sure that's 28k um so that would be cheaper than just buying an mpx so if you want to just save up your dog tags for the early game you're better off trading them uh instead of just selling them uh until you start hitting like level 20 dog tags level 30 dog tags then they're definitely worth selling now next one you can get yourself an m4 for three cpus and three fans Early game, this isn't going to be worth. Right now, this is probably pretty worth. Uh, it'll just get you a stock M4 for three CPUs and three fans. They're quite cheap right now. But early game, probably wouldn't recommend this one. Uh, or sorry, I keep saying early game. I mean early wipe, sorry. I meant to say early wipe cycle. These items will have a lot more value to them. So again, it all goes back to make sure you check the prices on the flea before you invest in any of these. Now, this is one that I always do early game, uh, mechanic level 2. One drill will get you an Osprey suppressor. I run a lot of MP5s and stuff like that early game, so I like to put Osprey suppressors on them. So anytime I find a drill, I always trade it for an Osprey suppressor. Um, and it's generally profit every time uh, you trade a drill for an Osprey suppressor. So make sure you grab those drills and don't just sell them. Always trade them for the Osprey suppressors. Uh, four RAM and one T-plug will grab you a hybrid 46 suppressor. This is super worth you should be doing this now because sticks of RAM aren't really that expensive. They're super common to find. T-shaped plugs are worth nothing. And a hybrid 46 suppressor is worth like 100k on the flea market. So do that one if you want to net yourself some profit every trader reset. You can also grab yourself a Tapco SKS if you happen to like that gun for one GP coin. It's about worth. It's like 40k for a GP coin or something like that. So it's worth. Uh, and you can also get a somewhat decked out Tapco SKS with like a different stock and the different uh, foregrip on it. 
or the different uh, handguard on it, sorry, uh, for one air filter. So if you like those guns, go for those trades. Uh, you can also grab yourself a pro kill for a soft mod M4. So if you happen to find any pro kills, trade them for soft mod M4s because you'll make more money or you can just use the gun. It's basically an M4 with a suppressor uh, with a uh, LCAN on it uh, with a, hang, uh, with a, a grip and everything on it. It's a pretty nice M4 uh, for a pro kill. It's pretty efficient to trade that for it. So I would suggest that. Uh, you can trade two military cables and three lamps for an M700, but it, like it has an SDN suppressor and like a Leopold scope on it. This trade isn't really worth. I would rather just buy the M700, put the scope I like on it, put the suppressor I like on it instead. Um, I don't believe that the two M cables is worth. I'd rather trade the two M cables, uh, either sell them on the flea market or I would rather uh, trade them for the big backpack from level four per four. Uh, but again, if you want to do a price check on them or you happen to like that Leopold scope, then go ahead. You can trade your M cables and your three lamps for it if you would like. Now, Ragman level two, uh, four ES lamps for a tri-zip. That's great. Where do you get tons of ES lamps? Filing cabinets. Where do you have, where do you loot lots of filing cabinets? Early game. There you go. Three energy drinks for an Untar armor. So that will get you a class three MFUN armor uh, for three energy drinks, which are pretty common. You can find them in duffel bags all the time uh, or just scattered around like kitchen areas and stuff like that. You can also trade six matches for contacts. You find tons of matches and filing cabinets. Generally, once I'm finished looting customs, uh, in the early game, uh, and I am collecting matches, I could have like 10, 12, 15 matches on me uh, by the time I'm finished. So like you get a lot early game. Uh, you can also trade milk, coke, and a coffee for a Karasa armor. Now the coffee is kind of a tricky one because it's kind of hard to find early game and it is kind of expensive. Uh, but if you happen to find a bunch of coffee early game, you got some milk and some Tarakola lying around, you can trade that for Karasa armor if you would like depending on how much coffee is selling for, it might just be worth your time to uh, trade it for a Karasa that you can use in raid. Now, Jaeger level two has some very, very nice things for early game. He sells the Night Force 34 millimeter mount for a propane tank early game. If you want to make yourself a ton of cash, do this trade every time the trader resets uh, early wipe and you will make a fortune if you can get to Jaeger level two fast enough uh, because everybody wants it for the gunsmith tasks. So that Night Force trade is totally worth for a propane tank. Uh, I've seen them sell for like 150k early wipe easy, easily. And you can find propane tanks uh, on Shoreline super easily in the resort. You can find them on Interchange super easily as well. He also trades a Night Force scope for a, um, a battery bank, two magnets and one UV lamp. Again, this is very worth. Um, the two magnets and the UV lamps are super easy to get. You will find tons of these in the two tech stores on Interchange. The only thing you might struggle to find is the battery bank. They're kind of rare. Um, but yeah, you can always find them on the flea market. And generally, if you just buy it off the flea market, combine it with the other three items that you found, the two magnets and the UV lamp, you'll make yourself some profit. Now, moving on to Prapor level three. So we've got an F1 grenade for two ES lamps. Pretty good trade. You've got blue tape uh, for a pack of SPP ammo, uh, which is worth as hell. Uh, collect that early game because it will be worth a lot as you hit like the mid game. And people are looking for that SPP ammo for the Val instead of using SP5 or SP6. Um, the AS Val trade for the four MREs and the two GM counters, it's not worth. Uh, the MREs sell for a lot more money than the gun is actually worth. And the two GM counters then on top of it as well. This is not a worth trade. Um, MREs have gone up a lot in value since the uh, introduction of the, you know, you have to food and water your PMC every raid. So this is not worth it. Um, the VSS for the two scissors and the uh, uh, the screwdriver thing as well, uh, that trade is fairly worth. Uh, but remember that the VSS uses the DMR skill, not the assault rifle skill. So you're not going to have as good a recoil control with the VSS than you are with the VAL. So it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, the RPK is also not really worth. Uh, you need to trade 100 M61 rounds for it uh, on top of uh, some other item as well. I can't remember what it is, but those 100 S uh, M61 rounds can probably be sold on the flea market for more money. Um, but I mean, if you really like the RPK and you've got a bunch of M61 rounds that you're not going to use, then sure, go for it if you want. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that the M61s are worth about a thousand rubles around. So yeah, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be doing that trade for the RPK. Now I could be wrong about the M61 price, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty high. Uh, level 3 Therapist, there's nothing really worth grabbing here uh, in terms of barters. Uh, each case, you're better off just farming the money uh, to trade for. Uh, in my opinion, you're just buying it off the flea market. Uh, some of the trades are a little bit of a scam. Uh, for example, uh, Skier Level 3, 
the Reaper trade there, the Reaper scope trade from Skier level 3, is a complete scam. Just buy it off the flea market. It's way cheaper. Uh, the 5 level 2 dog tags is nice for the hollow, the hollow site there. Uh, it'll save you a bit of money. And uh, just be careful that you don't trade, like, you know, if you're collecting a lot of dog tags, you don't trade a bunch of tags that are super high level. Make sure you use the low level level 2 dog tags for the hollow. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to uh, you're going to let yourself a loss there. Uh, the DVL also trades for ten horses. Pretty nice and easy trade if you want a DVL. You got a bunch of horses lying around. You find horses everywhere in the game. Uh, so if you're the type of person who stocks stockpiles horses and you want to get a sniper rifle for it, you can trade it for a DVL if you would like. Um, also, then rip rounds for one T plug. You can make some profit over time by collecting these. This is one of the money making methods that I just discovered. Uh, trading a T plug for the rip rounds definitely worth uh in my opinion uh you can sell those back on the flea market for a lot more than what the t-plug is actually worth um so if you want to give that a try check the prices give it a go now peacekeeper level three a couple of very easy ones here the 60 round m4 mag for the air filter it's always great i use that one all the time same thing with the two circuit boards for the stanag 60 is also very worth the money um a 5.7 for a gp coin yeah <laughs> me i probably wouldn't uh, but again, it's up to you. If you've got a bunch of GP coins, you like five sevens, go for it. Uh, panor panoramic NVGs are, uh, for trade there as well for the fierce hatchling moonshine. That is not worth it all. You lose yourself about 70 K on that trade. So don't do that. Sell it and buy it with, uh, cash either with dollars, uh, or just buy it from the flea market instead. Uh, the P90 is two military cables, not worth it all. It is way overpriced. Uh, do not trade your military cables for the P90 at this current moment in time. Maybe at some other point in the wipe, it might be worth it. But right now, it is definitely not. Uh, the Arsas is 20 level 15 dog tags. So that's 135k worth of dog tags. Now, the Arsas early game sells for a lot. Because people want to get their Kiba keys early game. Then they want to start farming Kiba to collect Arsasses to sell them on the flea market. Because people need them for their mechanic tasks. So, watch out for this one in the early game. If you happen to level up that fast and you can grab... A bunch of those dog tags, you can net yourself a really nice profit there. You can make yourself enough profit to uh, get enough money to get a Kiba key. Um, and then you could farm even more Arsasses if you would like, if that's what you want to do while you're playing Interchange, doing your tasks. Uh, Arsasses can be a lot of money in the early game if you can collect a lot of them. So that's one to keep out, uh, keep an eye out for. Level 3 Mechanic doesn't seem to be worth uh, at the current Bitcoin prices and the weapon part prices. Um... You just have to go through these, see if there's actually a gun there that you would like to use. I looked through them. All the trades seem pretty shitty. Uh, they all seem to net you a loss. And every single gun seems like you're going to have to do something to it to make it usable. Because in the current state that they're in, they're kind of shit. Uh, so to be honest with you, if you really want to do a price check, see how much the weapon is actually worth. You know, check the prices of the Bitcoins at the time, the GP coins and all that other stuff that he trades the uh, weapons for from Mechanic. I... I probably just wouldn't. I, I really don't think it's that worth. It's probably not worth. I just wouldn't bother. Um, all right. So moving on to level three Ragman. The teapot for the belt rig is pretty nice. Teapots are pretty cheap and the belt rig is huge. So that's really good for loot runs. Uh, nothing else really super worth. Um, most of the stuff that trades at Ragman level three are all pretty overpriced compared to their flea market values. So I would honestly just suggest to you... Um, Grab that stuff on the flea market instead of uh, using your expensive barter items to trade for some of that armor and stuff. It's really not that worth. Uh, it might seem worth, but once I looked up a lot of the prices on a lot of this stuff, so you guys don't have to. And at the current moment in time, a lot of that stuff is total scam. It's you're not gonna you're gonna lose a lot of money on it. Like anywhere from like thirty to fifty k, you're gonna end up losing on a lot of these trades. And now because I'm a clever boy, I forgot to show you guys Jaeger level three. So my bad about that. Uh, the Reap IR trade here for 10 helixes is actually worth. You can stand to make some money on this if you collect the helixes in raid. Uh, or even if you buy them on the flea market right now, you can make a, uh, you can make a pretty decent profit. They're about 17 to 18k, so you're looking at 170, 180k. Reap IR sell anywhere from like 220k to 250k on the flea market right now. Also, the sick case trade, uh, is totally worth. Uh, you can stand to make some profit on this even buying the paracords on the flea market. Uh, but again, this is an item that goes up and down in price quite a bit. Always make sure you check the flea market prices before you do this. As with everything else in this video, the prices are the day that I recorded the video. You always need to double check to make sure that you're still making profit and you're not losing any. 
Uh, and again, the Red Rebel Ice Pick, of course, is worth. It is non-stop sold out. Good luck even trying to get one. But the trade is totally worth. If you can get there right on the trader reset and you can maybe get one, you'll stand to make yourself a decent amount of profit. The Bramit Suppressor for three lunch boxes, not really worth. The FLIR for two Aquamarines and five Sugars. Uh, considering Sugars are about 50k each right now, not worth. And then the Camper Axe. I mean, if you want it for some reason, go for it. You're not going to make any money on it, but it's there. <laughs> and the, yeah, the Saiga 12 nerf gun for five Kansas Sprats, four Aquamarines and four out of six squash. Yeah, great trade. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth. And for those that don't understand sarcasm, I'm kidding. This is not worth it all. Do not do this trade. It is a total waste of money. <laughs> now, this is where things get spicy, okay? For poor level four, two military cables, super worth for the big bag. I use it all the time. I use it every raid. Two military cables, big, huge bag, totally worth. Um, it is a lot more expensive than the attack two, but it's also enormous. It's huge. Um, Ash 12 trade, who uses the Ash 12. I don't think I've run into a single PMC this entire wipe who's used the Ash 12, so I don't think anyone cares. Uh, now, 7N12 BP. <laughs> I made myself a ton of mini money while making this video. Let me tell you how. 7N12 BP trades for one packet of strike cigarettes. That's eight bullets, right? Each bullet of BP, 7N12 BP, is worth like... Anywhere from 1,500 to 1,700 rubles, okay? Eight bullets come in the pack. I let you guys do the math. I bought like 300 packets of strike cigarettes uh, because I knew when I made this that <laughs> you guys are probably going to go buy all that shit out on the flea market. So I'm keeping my strikes, okay? I'm going to trade them all for 7 and 12 BP because I actually really like that ammo. I'm probably going to sell some of it, but I'll probably use most of it. Um, so have fun with that. I'm sorry to the couple of people on the flea market that knew about this and have probably been making huge profit off it. And I've just ruined it. So sorry about that. Uh, but there you go. Have a look at the 7 and 12 BP trade. I'll say nothing more. Uh, therapist level four. There isn't really anything worth, um, yeah, the thick case trade there is nonstop sold out the alcohol one. So that is obviously worth if it's constantly selling out. It's definitely worth. It's generally a good sign that something's profitable if the barter trade is constantly sold out. Uh, Skiri level 4, the weapons case trade isn't worth it all. Uh, just run Marked Room and sell the vodka, sell the moonshine. Um, if you want to get yourself a an easy weapons case, just do Marked Room runs. Bring money with you so that you can use the vehicle extract every time you get there for the first time. And uh, yeah, I would I would guarantee you it'll be just it'll be better on your wallet and you'll find better stuff as well you can find docs cases key bars all that kind of stuff i wouldn't bother doing that trade it isn't worth uh and then a suppressed dvl um eh, up to you if you want to do the suppressed dvl trade eh, yeah i don't know like let me look it up so let's see here the uh, suppressed DVL from level four. It's for one of those honeycomb Asa things. It's just, it's just not worth. And again, it's eight moonshines and two bottles of vodka for a weapons case. Moonshines are like 250k right now. They're super expensive. They are super, super uber expensive. So yeah, absolutely not worth. I would not recommend. Uh, Peacekeeper level four. The MPX trade, it's about 50k, so like you kind of break even-ish on it. Um, that's up to you. Uh, three whiskeys will get you a Sop Mod M4, so that's not bad for like 120k or so. Um, if you like the Sop Mod M4 and you got three bottles of whiskey hanging around, hey, go out and have a good time, you know? Um, but it's not a bad trade, it's okay. Uh, the GP coin AK trade seems to be worth, uh, but you'd be honestly better off selling the GP coins and modding the gun yourself. You can mod it to a better standard with the money that you'd make from selling the GP coins. It's not worth. Uh, mechanic level four. Uh, the mags are worth trading. The G phone for the FAL 50 rounders and the GM counter for the M1A 50 rounders are pretty worth. The graphics card trade is worth depending on the current price of graphics cards. It's two SSDs and two of those uh, SAS drives, right? 
I believe they're called the S the SAS drives or, or it's it's a new one of the new um it's one of the new uh barter items that came out this patch. Uh you can stand to make anywhere from 60 to like 100k depending on the fluctuations of graphics card prices. So if you have a level 4 mechanic, keep an eye on the graphics card trade. Uh, I believe you can only grab one per trader reset, so it might be a good way to make yourself like, you know, a little bit of profit every time the traders reset. Uh, so keep an eye on that one. Now, Ragman level 4. I've got a lot to say about Ragman level 4. The Alton Visor trade is worth. The Killer Visor trade is worth. The Zuck trade is really good, but the armor repair is terrible on it. It repairs so badly. But, 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 but. After you've used it, if you survive like two or three raids and it gets really banged up, you can still sell it back on the flea market and get some of your money back. So to me, the Zuck armor is worth the trade for the, um, what is it? Two vases and three teapots or something like that. Uh, I think the Zuck is worth. Now, Gen 4 full for three lion statues is a complete scam. Don't do that. It's terrible. It's a complete waste of money. Uh, if you're going to do it, do the four clock statue and uh so you can you can do the trade with four clocks and one cat statue that trade is far more worth and you'll find that the one for the three lion statues is very rarely even like has stock missing but the one below it which is the one for the four clocks and the cat statue is way more worth for sure now um yeah the uh oh geez where am i <laughs> the four trade don't waste your money on four trades I just wouldn't. Fort armor is terrible. It's a total bait. It is good armor, but it slows you down so much. You're so slow. You've got no stamina. You can't move. It's just... I just wouldn't waste your money. If you really like Ford armor, then sure, go for it. Like, you can you can go spend however much money you want on buying a Ford armor. But to me personally, I think it's a complete waste of money. Uh, early game, if you can get to level 4 Ragman fast enough and you can do the trades for the Ford armors while they're still worth like three, 400k while people are trying to collect them for their quests, then sure, go for it. You can make some cash that way, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, again, the Redot T5 is terrible armor. Don't waste your cash on it with the barter trades. It is not worth. Uh, 10 level 20 dog tags is all right for an M2 rig. It costs about 90k, so you're looking at, um, what is the M2? It's a 60 point class 4 armor. That covers your chest, right? I don't think it covers your stomach. Um, but yeah, you're looking at about 90k in value uh, for 10 level 20 dog tags if they're all exactly level 20 dog tags. Um, so it's kind of up to you. Uh, it's a pretty decent trade. It's okay, provided that the dog tags that you have are exactly level 20. The higher the level of the dog tags you're trading in, obviously you know yourself, that's increasing the value and therefore probably not worth. Um, so yeah, that's up to your own discretion. Uh, the tack tech for one vase and six chainlets is pretty good. Uh, chainlets are dirt cheap. You can collect a bunch of them every raid. You find them everywhere on shoreline. Um, yeah, I, I feel like the tack tech for the vase and six chainlets is is pretty uh, pretty reasonable. It's pretty damn good. Um, also, you're looking at a skull and two gold chains for an A18 rig. Uh, I think this is pretty good. This is a trade I'm going to start doing because not only is that only like... It's about 100k, a little bit less, a little bit more, depending on the fluctuation price of the skull and the gold chains, because they tend to go up, you know, 5, 10k in value here and there. Um, but that rig is huge, uh, but it also has a lot of HP, and uh, it's it's a pretty nice rig. You can fit a lot of stuff in there as well. Uh, so for loot runs, that A18 rig is definitely worth bringing with you. Um and then you can get a blackjack for seven bleach. So I checked the price of bleach currently. It's about 9k a pop. So like it's not too bad considering the price of an attack two and the bag is bigger for, you know, loot runs and stuff like that. But again, it's up to your own discretion, your own price tags, you know, your own uh, your own inventory worth and all that kind of juice. Um, yeah, so seven bleach at 9k a pop. It's not bad. It's not it's not bad. It's not great either. But if you want to and you've got a bunch of bleach, go for it. Or you could even try flipping the bags if you want to grab bleach off the flea market for cheap and then you want to buy the bag and then sell the bag on the flea market you can try and make some profit that way i'm not sure if people do that i'm sure they do but um you can give that a try and then jaeger level four uh there's nothing worth i check the prices of the ammos and the trades and stuff like that it's not worth doing in my opinion anyway so there you go those are all of in my opinion the worth barter trades uh from all of the traders from level one Prapor all the way up to, all the way up to uh, level four Jaeger. 
Uh, so yeah, all the traders, level one to four. Those are all the barter items that I believe are worth. So guys, if you all enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see in the future. Uh, and if you guys would like to see this kind of thing done live, make sure to go to my stream at twitch.tv slash tweak. Uh, if you guys made it this far in the video and you guys have been enjoying it, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 50k. We're very, very close. Uh, we really appreciate it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, my dudes.